Hello everyone, today we are back in X-Plane and we will be flying big jets in the Plum Island Airport of the US. So here we are spawned on runway 10 in a Boeing 737. Let's go forward and try to take off and see if we do it successfully. Feed in a bit of laps setting the trim a bit because we need all of the stuff to use it requires minimal runway distance so let's just go forward and do a full throttle takeoff So we were able to lift off at a quite nice pace, at a quite nice, with a quite a distance left. One way now. Let's retract the gear and uh, let's see. Beautiful takeoff, going perfectly through the first line of the clouds. A bit. Hi, I think that's because of the trim. Let's just go forward and try to land the plane. Okay, we are on final again on runway 10 at Plum Island Airport. This airport is actually considered one of the smallest airports. Uh, the airport is one of the smallest runways in the US. Okay, I can see the runway. It is straight ahead with those poppy lights flashing let's just go forward and ok 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 let's just need a bit probably leave ok we are going at the ideal landing speed around 140 knots I think it might not be enough for us over here. 50, 40, okay, don't touch down right here. Don't. Okay, okay, we're on the runway. Yeah. And we touched down. A bit late, but it seemed alright. Okay, so full reverse thrusters, full brakes. And I'm gonna consider this area as a part of the runway too because the planes are big. And why is there a FedEx truck? Oh, it's actually a Reg X. And it, that was so close. I mean, we need a new engine. Because the truck kind of like cut the engine in half. I don't know if that's physically possible, but. Yeah. Let's try an, another plane. This is a bit. This is way too close, man. I mean, the plane literally just stopped there. Now we're back at the same runway, but this time in uh, McDonnell Douglas MD80. I used the reverse thrusters to back up the plane a bit, bringing the last tires on the edge to allow us having as much runway as we possibly can. Again, without further ado, I just I'm just gonna go forward and take off. Flaps in the trim. Always need these things. Okay, the trim is good over here. Let's just go forward and take off. All right. Again, I believe I'm turning the plane a bit to the left. Okay, now we are perfectly aligned. Let's see. The speed is increasing on a small amount. The acceleration is low. I don't think we'll be able to make it successful. Oh, that that was close. Yeah, I think we made it. I'm going to ignore the truck because they're uselessly but I, I i still think that we made the oh let's just watch the replay to see if we made it or not at least we were in the air a bit before uh, before the runway ended so that would count oh no 
Yeah, no, we were not. We did not make it. Sliced the truck in half, though. Yeah, we took off late, overran the runway. In conclusion, MDAT engines aren't powerful enough, but we have to give it that because it's old. Okay, now we're gonna try to land the MDAT. So we see the I, I see the runway sink right, sink right, again with the help right, of the puppy right, light. Sink right, sink right, but sink right, sink right. The MD eighty kind of seems a bit out of control. It's it's responsive. I don't think that should happen. But the plane does quite seem a bit too responsive. I did not change the sensitivity or anything. A bit throttle, a bit power needed at times to carry this speed and this descent rate. Oh, we are a bit off the runway actually, we're a bit off track. Let's just use some rudder sink and right, stuff to align right, back. Sink right. Okay, so we may touch down on the runway, but we might skid off. Because we're not aligned. Okay, 40, we're not gonna 30, touch down on 20, the runway. 10. That was a really hard landing. That was a hard landing. Yep. Okay, stop, stop. I'm gonna avoid the truck. Okay, we did stop right on the X. Looks like some pirates marked this place. And again, the truck. Yeah stuck with our wing all right we just i don't understand why they have a truck over here this time we're back with the uh, airbus so boeing and mcdonald douglas kind of stick out like they're together most of they're american and most of this stuff is same, but this time we're in a European plane and let's just go forward and take off. Another thing I'm noticing over here is that uh, the Airbus engines are not quite as powerful as the 737's engines. That was a legitimate takeoff, we did it before the runway ended, but the engines are not giving as much power as as the 737 engines were the plane this plane I kind of believe has more chances of stalling than the 737 okay I'm gonna try to land this I see the runway it is straight up ahead but yeah this is going to be a slow slow oh the the puppy lights are flashing in the runway is actually getting more closer but we are a bit high and our speed is a bit high too okay i'm just gonna try to slow down the plane a bit Sink right, sink and decrease right, the sink altitude right, at the sink same right, time. Sink right, Not a good sink idea right, though. Sink right, 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 sink Touch down before the okay, okay, okay. This is bad. This is definitely bad. I'm gonna try to land again. Yep. Yeah, kind of like skip 10 seconds. The runway is right ahead. Plum Island Airport in the US kind of with a really short runway the runway was very narrow too I mean the 737 could hardly you know 
be there. I'm going to try bigger jets later and I don't think if I try a 747 that's gonna you know, stay on the runway. It's certainly gonna overrun and certainly it will be it will require a wider runway. Let's just go forward and do this. Three hundred. Sink rate. I use sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. To like the air Pull up. Very much. Sink rate. Pull up. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. But then I kind of started to like the Boeing airplanes. Twenty. Okay. Just lost our right land. Oh. Okay. What is happening? What is happening? How po how is it possible? How did that even happen? Okay, engines are full to stop. It. Why are we going in reverse? What is happening? Oh god. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna do anything. We're back in a Boeing airplane. The 777. One of my favorites. Kind of a really legendary airplane. Okay, just look at the look at the landing gear. The wheels are literally on the edge of the runway. I'm trying to reverse thrust back it a bit. It was possible with the other aircraft, but it does not seem possible over here. I don't know what is happening. Why is it not coming back? I mean, it's not possible in real life, but it was happening to all the other aircrafts. Okay, I, I don't care. Let's just go with the takeoff. I believe that we will be able to take off even though the 7... 777 is a quite large aircraft for this runway. But these GE90 engines, General Electric, is did a wonderful job in making these engines. Just look at that, how beautifully those engines powered us. We just took off, no problem, not not even a single problem. The runway was, I don't know, like 10 times the plane and it took off. Okay, we have a really high pitch. I'm just gonna go forward and try to land the aircraft now. So up till now our experiment, there is a way to say it, that MD-80 was not powerful enough to take off but it did land and stopped a bit. You know, if I do count the X area marked with X, then it did stop in time but if we, if we don't count it seems like the usual case it overran a bit same goes with the Boeing 737 500. it landing overran gear. a bit landing but gear. Landing the 737's gear. takeoff landing was really good Boeing landing engines gear. were like, I hope well you see the 737 that I was flying was uh, the 737-7 and certainly are the max because Otherwise, we'll just be stalling ourselves out. Okay, we are touching down a bit late. Okay, we touched down half the runway. We know where we're going to stop. Alright. Okay, so we are in a forest. Uh, in the forest. Look at those pilots. Were those side windows open all this time? I think those windows are open, like the last two in Okay, we overran. Yeah, this plane can definitely not land, even if we- Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope to see you next time.